Numerical Computation, Chapter 4, Video Number 2. In this video, we will take an example using trapezoid rule, and also we will look at um, some simple code of implementing this in MATLAB. Let's first recall the trapezoid rule, which we repeated here. This we derived last video. So here's the example number one. So given a function f of x, which is square root of x squared plus 1, we want to compute the integral of f from negative 1 to 1 by trapezoid root with n equals to 10. So um, with the trapezoid rule written over here, we see that we actually need the value, the function value evaluated at all these um, um, grid point xi. So let's set up this table. So for i from 0, 1, 2, 3 all the way to 10, we set out xi, which ranges from negative 1 and increase by 0 0.2 and keep going all the way to 1. And then we evaluated the function value over here. That's the square root of x squared plus 1. So in this example, we have the grid size is h equals to the interval length, which is 2 divided by 10, 0 0.2. And then we just can simply use the formula. So the trapezoid rule value t equals to h times f0 plus f10. So the first one plus the last one divided by 2 plus summing over all the intermediate one, meaning from index 1 to index 9. Okay, so um, either with your calculator or whichever, whichever method you do, and you get this value 2.3. 003035. Now let's take a look at how to code this in MATLAB. Let's take an example for a function. Let's say fx equals to x squared plus sine x. Mm -hmm. So we need to first define this one in MATLAB. And let's call the function is called func. So it shall be saved as the file func.m. And the file could contain just these three lines function v equals to func of x, x is your input and v is your output, and v simply equals to x squared plus sine x. So and we require this function to be able to handle a vector value x and returns a vector value in v. So therefore, um, this x squared here, we need to use x dot square, that is the vector version of the square. So here is the script possibly one can use to compute the trapezoid rule, um, which will store the, the final value in this um, variable capital T. So first you do the grid size, which is b minus a divided by n, and then you generate your x vector from a to b with step size h. Mm -hmm. Then you would uh, compute the first grid point x0, which is a, function evaluated there, and function evaluated at b, which is xn, add them up and divide by 2. And then you go into a for loop to compute that summation of all the um, inner points, which is for index i from 2, step 1, all the way to n. Notice that this x vector here has actually size n plus 1. And then inside there, you add, you update the t value by adding function evaluated at xi on top of it. So when you come out of this for loop, in this, what's in the t value is um, actually not yet the um, integral, but uh, the in before you multiply the whole thing by h. So you have to multiply t by h and then give it back to t. Now, I would like to point out one thing, that is, um, this for loop here, all it does is computing a sum, right, of kind of a, a vector. So, so if you are using just a, a, some programming language, and probably you will end up with a, writing a for loop. But keep in your mind, we're using MATLAB. MATLAB is specially designed to handle matrices and vectors and with lots of building functions already there. 
So there is a MATLAB function which is called SUM. Let's see, let's write it out S U M. And it takes a vector, some kind of a vector, let's call it V, as its input, and it sums up all the elements in it. And we could use that. If we use that, then the code is much simpler. Okay, so here would be the code if you use the sum. It's actually just like three lines. So, of course, first you have to declare your age, and then and let's declare x. Let's declare only the inner points. We just don't do the boundary A and B because we know it. And then the T is computed as F at A, F at B, sum up divided by 2, plus the sum of function evaluate at X, which are all the inner points. And after all this is summed up, and you multiply by H. Okay, so really, really compact code. And later I will show you that. Actually, there's great advantages by using this, and this is actually much faster. Okay, um, next video we will look at error estimates.